What is up everyone? Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics. I have some unfortunate news. Some hitchhikers have made it into the tank and uh, there's really no easy way to deal with it. So I took some pictures, put it in my Facebook group and said, does anyone know what these things are? And it was an overwhelming response that they are hydrids. I will put a picture up, but let's see if we can see some on some of these coral frags over here because they've been spreading like crazy. So if I zoom in here, uh, you can see they look like little strings sticking off the top of the zoanthids. You can see they're over there on the Mickey D's. So it's spreading, spreading throughout the collection, unfortunately, and there's no easy way to deal with it other than bombing the tank with fembems and all, and that might not even do it, and then you risk killing everything. Um, so through the rumor mill, I heard that mollies will take care of these things, just like the mollies will eat hydra. Uh, these guys are basically your saltwater version of hydra. Um, so I got myself a molly from PetSmart, a black molly. And over the next couple hours, I will be acclimating this fish to salt water to live in my reef tank. And the best part about this is I've done, in all the research I've done, it's actually good for the fish too. So I was worried that I'd be throwing this fish in there for my own selfish reasons. Uh, but apparently... They do better in fresh water because all the parasites that are in salt water because all the parasites that normally can irritate them in fresh water don't live in salt water. So apparently mollies are much happier in salt. Uh, so that's awesome. So I will be acclimating this guy over. I'm also worried about aggression. Marine fish tend to be a little bit more aggressive than freshwater fish. I'm hoping the molly doesn't get beat up. But I'm going to start this acclimate, get this acclimation started, and I'll keep you guys updated. So here is the little guy acclimating. And I noticed I had a strip going. I'm gonna slow this drip down a little bit. I sped it up a little bit just so you could see it for the camera because uh, it was going too slow where you almost didn't even look like it was dripping. Um, but basically I'm just gonna have a slow drip just like this, a little slower than that. And I added an aerator because it's gonna be hours. And I noticed the salt water was heavier than the fresh water. So when it was dripping in without any motion in the water, um, the salt water is basically just sinking to the bottom and spreading out. You could see like the waviness of the salt towards the bottom of the container. So I had the small little air pump here. Just plugged it in temporarily and give it some aeration while this guy acclimates. Alright, I'll show you him when he's swimming around and happy. It's kind of hard to see on video, but you can see the salt waves mixing with the fresh water as it comes out of the tube. So that's a good indication of when you are done acclimating and when this is actually full salt without uh, breaking out a TDS meter or breaking out the salinity, uh, the hydrometer. But you, those ways would work. Uh, I'm basically going to just let this keep going, and then what, if it gets too full, I'm going to drain some water out into a cup and just let it keep on going until I do not see any of those waves anymore, and then I'll know that the water salinity has been matched. Fish is acclimated. Went a little bit quicker than I would have liked. It's only been about two and a half hours, uh, but the salinity looks the same, so... I'm going with it. We're going with the release. And um, since we're going to be filming inside the tank now, close up, I'm going to put the filter on. One of these things that uh, helps with the blue light from the salt tanks. So now it looks more like what the human eye would see. Oh man, I got some stains on the dirty glass. I'm going to have to clean up from the salt. Uh, but let's get this guy in here. I'm using a shrimp net because it's made of some nice material. It's a little easier on the fish. And let's hope everyone's nice to you. Let's get rid of that.
He looks okay for now. Nemo's going over to try to eat him. Uh-oh. Hey, Google. Stop. That was my timer to check on this fish. So Nemo's giving him some, some gruff. But Nemo probably doesn't know, is this food or is this friend? Food or friend? Oh, I thought that hawkfish was going to be the one going after, after him for sure. But seems to be Nemo. Luckily, he seems to be just checking them out and then going away. Well, all right, guys. I'm just going to keep an eye on them. I might have to get my uh, tweezers out to scare Nemo away a little bit, tell him to leave this guy alone. But he seems to be just checking them out so far, but he is making me nervous. All right. I'll get back to you guys. So he's been in here for about an hour now, just swimming around all happy. Nemo stopped chasing him. No one's really giving him a hard time, surprisingly, actually. And I need the few times that someone did kind of go after him, well, which was Nemo, he just kind of kept doing his thing. Didn't even notice that Nemo was going after him. So I'm fairly happy with it. He doesn't look stressed. Like the water stressing him out or anything. He's just swimming around. Acting happy. So, doesn't appear to be stressed out. So I'm happy. This is awesome. And another great thing about having mollies in a saltwater tank is that they're pretty much herbivores. So, they like to pick at that algae too. So they'll get rid of my pests and they'll eat the algae. So I'm thinking that the killing the pests might be a side effect of going for the algae actually. But, huh? very nice, I'm super happy. It's actually it's kind of cool to have a black molly in my reef tank. I'm actually super excited about it. So I hope it works out. I hope he stays healthy. I hope he gets all those critters. And I hope he doesn't mess with any of the corals or anemones. But I think that's it for this one, guys. I guess I'll keep you updated in the future as to how this goes. But it seems to have gone very, very well. So we acclimated a black molly straight from PetSmart into my reef tank in about three hours. Alright guys, later.